Aura. I'm apoplectic, furious. Frankly, I'm puzzled. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, stop. All the articles about coats and war. Okay, <clears throat> I guess I will be able to do anything. Why not? Have a gander at that. Come back tomorrow if you fancy fresh news. Reports of ships sailing by night along the beaches of Wyrm's Crossing. Elvan circus struck by tragedy, dribbled the clown, killed and replaced by an absolute spy. Got it already? Way. Uh, yeah, I think short sword will be more useful for you. No more puzzles. A travesty. Hmm. As a door palace, we'll go there later. We'll hide away like a child. I see it. Let me back in. I'll bring Laroakin out here, you tin tube. You tell Laroakin I went for his goddamn night song, and now he has to pay up. What are you looking at? Shit, it's you. You went looking for the night song after me. Please tell me you found it. Why are you trying to get at inside? Laroakin, the wizard who set out the contract, he owns this place. And his little page boy inside knows how to get to him. Laroakin said it'd be easy money. A smash and grab. Get in. Get the night song, go. Turns out his little relic was in a temple of Shah, beneath an army of goblins. Would never have taken my people in if I'd known. I can't bring them back. But I can make Laroakin cough up. Especially if you found the relic. Hmm. I'll find the night song. Turns out it wasn't a relic, but an Asimar. An Asimar? Else, if I'd known, I'd have asked for more gold. Kidnapping costs more than theft. Huh. Don't forget, I'm the one who gave you that contract. I want my cut. What cut? She's immortal and tough. You can forget about turning her in for a reward. Immortal, eh? Interesting. Won't be easy getting her back to the wizard. But if you don't do it, someone else will. Hope you hit her well, mate. You. Louder than 
Uh, by the way, let's go get Gale. Head of Australia, Rob. Oh, you are in the same place. So, this stone lord is the legendary Minsk. And a newly minted cultist, no less. Uh, are we sure we want to find him before Nine Fingers does? I doubt he'll be pleased to see us. <laughs> Darling, I... Ew. Sounds like we're not the only ones tracking down this Minsk fellow. Let's hope Nine Fingers' bounty doesn't attract too much competition. Yeah, I mean... With pleasure. Lead on. At the ready. In our resistance. Thanks. Still breathing, despite everything. Rollin? You! What are you doing here? Me? What are you doing here? This is uh, my apprenticeship. It has not been what I expected. Master Laroican is um, a difficult man. He's consumed by his pursuit of the Night Song. I haven't learned a thing, and I fear it'll stay that way. A lucky escape, given Laroican's reputation. He'd have little of value to teach you. <clears throat> but never mind that. What can I do for you? Do many people ask about the night song? It's all I deal with these days. People claiming their trinkets are the real night song. Looking for the mountain of gold the Roican promised. There's even a pamphlet. Take one. They're on the desk. Let's trade first. Oh, a lot of magical items, by the way. Rest of soul rejuvenation. Whenever the wearer succeeds on saving throw against a spell, they regain one point. Hmm. What do you have? Oh, no damage. Better action. The viewer can use a reaction to make an unarmed strike against any attackers that misses. Oh, well, it's more for a monk. Oh, regeneration! I need it. What else? Charisma plus two. Have a charisma feature. I have information on the night song. Be very sure before you make to visit the Roican. He's got a beastly temper. But if you really do know something, he'll want to see you. Head upstairs. You can find a way into his tower up there. 
Direct me. I think it's very fun. Oh, it's modification. Better anyway. Only once per shirt rest. Nice. Dad doesn't have any hair. That's why we need. Oh, yeah. Why my step? Improvise is the least of all worries with that mad cult on our doorstep. Well, I just think we should be careful what we say in public. Everything. I'm sure oh. you'll manage. Literature department. Can I help you? <laughs> what? Why are you whispering? Psst. These books are sensitive. They prefer an environment of quiet reverence. Hey. <laughs> interested in any special rare tomes you have huh. bold you might have heard that our library has a collection other shops would lack the skill to curate between us even master Lerokin was reluctant to house them in his tower the pen is mightier than the magic wand apparently <laughs> they're locked away here for their and our customers safety our finest reserve includes the Tharkia Codex, the Annals of Cassius and Netherese Folly, Sites of the Sealy, and the Curriculum of Strategy. Do any of those interest you? Um, the Annals of Cassius and Netherese Folly? It is said to be written by Lord Cassius himself, the Netherese Arcanist who attempted to replace the goddess Mistra failed and was banished for the attempt great magical knowledge lies within those pages but not many can withstand it i can't explain now but it's very important we get hold of that book very very important the annals of Carsus would no doubt have much to say about the crown's true nature. If only you could read them. That's perfect. How much for me to buy it from you? Buy? Books as temperamental as these are not on sale. They are secured in our vault, where none can harm them, nor can they do any harm. Consider yourself lucky to have learned of such a book's existence, and then forget about it. The annals of Carsus are best left unread. Mm. Isn't it your job to share knowledge, not keep it locked away? At least tell me where the vault is. Five. Customers like you are why I prefer the company of books. The only way to gain access to the vault is through my office. And before you ask, no, you are not allowed in there either. Mm, I think you have learned more than enough. <laughs> I don't think she will you agree to sell have. it. Even simple knowledge of these tones is enough to stimulate most. Uh, can you show me your wares? How can I help you? What do you have to offer? Scrolls, parchments, codices, tomes. Take a look and see what calls you. 
Mm, if I want to scrolls, anything to sell? How can I help you? How might I get permission to enter the vault? The vault is strictly prohibited for customers. If you don't cease this foolishness, the rest of Sorcerer Sundries will be as well. Hmm. Sure. Uh, I can tell you're a discerning. You're after and nothing wrong. but the best. And luckily for you, that's exactly what I have. The Some best necromantic respect. charms in the city. Into the bin where it belongs. Or your money back. Just think of the possibilities once you have a fresh, high quality, completely safe zombie at your disposal. Gods, but it stinks! Oh, and it looks like somebody melted most of its flesh off. I'd be a laughing stock with that lumbering round after Now, now, you and I both know that being undead takes a toll on a corpse. We also do a range of fetching liveries and complimentary perfume spritzers. All seasonal, of course. <laughs> complimentary, you say? Oh, yeah. Apologies. I'm with a customer at the moment. Mm -hmm, all right. Oh. I saw somebody go up to Neroken's Tower last 10 days. Let's go up. Oh, just don't wrap it up your hmm. Wait, the rain. Watch. Many things, I suppose. Blood, bile, phlegm, chocolate. Well, at least they seem to use that. Welcome, dear patron, to mm. the floor at the top of the stairs. If you have information about the night song, great riches await. If you are here to waste the great wizard Laroakin's time, reconsider. Let your knowledge determine your path forward. What else? The Night Song is a priceless ruby from a realm beyond our own. The Night Song is an immortal being, the child of a deity. The night song is a priceless ruby from ah. a realm beyond our own. See. You must choose the portal. The night song is an ancient potion that allows its drinker to become irresistibly attractive to man and god alike. The night song is a druidic staff that allows its bearer command over an army of ancient beasts. Welcome back, dear patron. Remember that the great wizard doesn't suffer fools who waste his time. Let your knowledge determine your path forward. Right, what? Now I want. Breathe quiet. Move with care. I think it's Ready and willing. Okay, let's try to lockpick. Lost in thought. What? Close the door? I don't want to. The spell. I want a different one actually. Everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours, it seems. Our waters? Just out of view. 
Um. Did you hear? What? Hear? Mm, all right. All right. Fast, faster. You're on that old. Oh, replenish. Well, slot. to the <coughs> metal guy. Not for communal use, it seems. Best show some risk. Let me guess, you need something. Right, everything is good. I'm portal. I see. Practical magic. This time cover the nature of dead magic zones. During an era called Time of Troubles, a good many changes befell the world. Not least of which was a fracturing and reassembling of the source of all magic called the week. So much of the world was recovered that era some size remains scorch of magical power. Cut off the weak, they nullify all magic and spell casting nearby. Okay. So Oops. Preservation in Baldur's Gate. Miklor, as you refuse to speak to me following the incident with the three-eyed man, I have no choice but to make my request in writing. Master Lorakan instructs you to bring his newly acquired lamp, the one with the jinn. Hmm. To the vault and stored behind the protective wall. It is far too dangerous to be left on display in the shop room. Okay, we have a genie. Now we must. Um... Whatever it takes. Sir, yes, sir. Ah, excellent choice. <laughs> Tempers are rising. Mm -hmm. Wherever we go, ye gods, let there be something green. Not everyone subscribes. What to do? Not for communal use, it's... Um, so I can go only alone? Well, maybe I'm... will be enough. Uh, 
Actually, my guild to join me. I'd be a laughing stock with that. If I must. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. <laughs> Work to be done. Ready and waiting. Well, certainly waiting. No rest. <laughs> be you wicked nice. or wise. Nice. works too. Ah, it's a floor. Best be on my way. Storage and sorting of scroll work, parchment, and tomes. Let's take everything we can. Where? Oh, it's a button. Seek and you shall find me. Well, sure. Well, at least things have stayed interesting. Can we just destroy it? What's next? Strike hard, strike fast. <laughs> This way. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Right Knight's final stratagem. Serpentine I managed to. Yeah. I've got a long road ahead. Before her time as an exarch of Tempus, the goddess of strategy, the Red Knight was a paladin most devout. She taught armies the world over as both student and teacher, and thus was she elevated by Tempus to her current status. These pages contain that of her which was left of material plane after her ascension. Quite some valuable knowledge hidden between these pages. To war. Hmm. Summon the operation of six master strategists. Each operation strikes a target of your choosing deal in depth. Nice, nice, nice. You learn something? Hmm. I applaud your taste. You can learn it? Nice. Never a dull moment. Come, yeah, let's pick up it. Hmm. Moving in. Hmm. 
in there. Fool, damn you! Need to keep going. No entry to vaults. Trespassers will be disintegrated. Master Laroican. Hmm. Mm hmm Yep. My face protects me. Shadowheart? Would you be so kind to break this? Sure. Mm-hmm. We don't have a Starion with us. We should get him. Oh, we can go to hell. All right. of renown. The annals must be behind Cassus's door. Take everything I needed. It is a great paradox among our kind. Who so value the art of learning what that we believe ourselves even kennier than the ones who came before? If envy is the disease of the artist, hubris is what is that of the wizard. Though I fear my warning will fall on deaf ears, I will say it again. The closer with the creeps to the domain of the divine, the closer oblivion creeps with him. I thought myself unequal to Mistra and devised a plan to make myself her equal. I would pluck one strand of weave and contain it within an amulet. I spent the better portion of my years devising. Our regret instantly heaved itself upon my head. I was trapped within the amulet instantaneously and passed around from collector to curia hall for better part of a millennium. Only now that I am freed with barely the strength of hold my quill, I can leave this final warning. The annals of Carsus. The preamble to a civilization's downfall, committed to parchment by the very hand that wrought its destruction. If the crown atop the Elder Brain was truly forged by Cassus himself, this book will confirm it. All we have to do is turn the page. Uh, 
uh, give the book to Gale. That devil Raphael was telling the truth. There's no doubt. The crown of Carsus is what's controlling the Elder Brain. And this, this is no mere journal. It contains Carsus's original plans for the crown's construction. His designs for godhood. The design for self-destruction, more like. Didn't the crown kill Carsus? Carsus? Not exactly. It was what he did with it that sealed his fate, and, for a time, that of magic itself. The crown was merely the means. The book states that the crown and netherstones were originally one construct, seemingly sundered at the moment of Carsus's downfall. If we can collect the crown setting and the three netherstones, and, with the correct invocation of certain spells and gestures detailed in these notes, I think... I could reforge it. Well, do you know that ground dangerous? Wouldn't that make things worse? Worse? It could be the best thing that ever happened to me. To us. Just think of it. The power of the gods in mortal hands at last. We'd be free of doctrine and dogma. Confined only by the limits of our imaginations. I promise you, the gods will never grant us such a blessing, no matter how much we worship and adore them. You dismiss the entire pantheon so easily. Not all gods are selfish. Some gods may delude themselves into believing they care about their worshippers. But when it comes down to it, we're all expendable. Children to be appeased, not respected. I worshipped Mistra loyally for years. And in that time, she granted me the barest sliver of the power I was ready to wield. Even with the fate of the world at stake, she had little more to offer me than the means of blowing myself up at a more convenient time. She's done nothing to help us. Mistra wanted the brain obliterated because of this crown. She fears a world in which such power is beyond her control, ready to be claimed by Carsus's successor. I thought you were past this kind of temptation, Gail. You know exactly where are such overreaching leads. Neither of us can know what truly may be if we don't at least try. Potential is nothing in itself. Just a fleeting dream unless we drag it into the waking world. Please, at least think on it. Powerful as he was, Carsus lacks some advantages I can lay claim to. I know, Mistra. Intimately, and I carry a fragment of the weave itself within my body. Carsus achieved many things, hmm, but he never managed that. A long road lies ahead before the crown comes into our possession. All I ask for now is that you do not dismiss this possibility out of hand. Please, at least think on it. Gail, I'm urging you to drop this. The crown cannot be reforged. Mr. Bruce. I see. I suppose I am asking you to take a leap of faith. Even the most loyal of companions might struggle to land gracefully. It's been so long feeling... inferior. Shut out from my destiny over such a simple act of youthful enthusiasm. Perhaps I got carried away with the thought this crown could give me back what Mistra took. Cure me. Even. Mm -hmm.
You're still destined for greatness, Gale, but you won't find it chasing Carson's shadow. You're right. There aren't many wizards who'd care to be mentioned in the same breath as him or his folly. Whatever comes of this, we cannot allow the crown to be reforged in Raphael's image. A devil wielding the might of Carsus. It would be the end of everything. Don't worry, he won't wield it. Okay, take these scrolls to learn what you can. A long way from water deep. Let's go to Silverhand. Nasty surprise. This place is caution is warranted here. Oh, I have the magic touch. This mutation. Uh... Ah. Okay. Let's give this a try. Um, step by step. It's not just mutation, then. Um, illusion, not illusion. Education. Hmm. Silver. Fine. Let's be careful not to trigger that thing. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Come on. Fold. Ah. Elminster, that might be useful. Okay. 
Hmm. Actions. Hands. Roots and blades always sharp. Pages are covered in esoteric symbols and strange runes, some indecipherable but some strangely familiar. Your eyes are drawn to one page, describing a long lost book, The Necromancy of Tate. Oh, by the way, it's, we have it. There are secrets of life and death known only to red wizards. Committing such secrets to parchment is a risk they are loath to take, lest the unworthy gate upon them better than to guard their secrets than the spirits of the jealous dead themselves. To look upon the necromancy of Tay is to risk madness at the hands of its spirits, but the wise traveler who can read the li tread the lines between life and death will find knowledge witnessed by precious few mortals. The rest of the entry detailed their precautions and risk associating with reading the text, but lay out a clear path to unraveling the secrets containing the dome. We finished. Have to keep going. We can just uh, leave. Good, everything's all right. <coughs> Someone smoking. Okay. Mm, this one as well. How high? Yes. This ought to be good. Uh, don't have permission to be here. You're about to be ejected. Can them you belong here? Situation. You've been caught trespassing again. Strange, but okay.
Uh, 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 uh. Hold very still, Niklaw. Uh, Crank's aim is much improved, but uh, still leaves something up to chance. Yes, sir. All right, Crank. Ready? Aim. Oh. Hmm. We have a visitor. At ease. McClaw, you may go. <laughs> I see no night song. Surely you wouldn't have entered my tower without the night song in hand, hmm? Surely my worthless apprentice wouldn't have allowed you to waste my time. You must be the withered Lorakan. And you must have an answer to my request. If you want to keep your head, of course. <laughs> the night song. Do you have it or not? What do you want with her? She? Then you do know her. You've been to Shah's temple. To the Shadowfell. You've looked upon the Night Song's face. Tell me, and choose your next words carefully. Where is she now? Why do you want her so badly? I'm growing tired of this repartee, my friend. Let us cut to the chase. Beautiful, isn't it? Worth more than your life, too. I bought it from a Kalashite warlock. Very little of his soul left to him. Hmm. It can bind a celestial to the wearer's service with a snap of the fingers. And this... This can keep her in place. Forever. I want immortality. The core contraption. Let me guess. Like Catholic Toron before you, you wish to become immortal. It didn't work out for poor Catherick, did it? He was a fool. A desperate mercenary who hoard out his soul to whichever god flattered him. <laughs> I serve no god, but that which stares back at me in the mirror. The night song will be put to a grand purpose, equalizing man and god. Whoever helps me attain that which I seek, will be greatly rewarded. There's more to divinity than lifespan. And snaring an immortal won't make you a god. Of course not. But perhaps, after enough lifetimes, I might make a start of it. He would seek the power of gods for the pettiest of reasons. His own gratification. At least I seek them for the better of all. Uh, what's that? I didn't quite catch the words, but the insolent tone was clear enough. Uh, pitying, not insolent. You chase one power without knowing an even greater one lies within my reach. The crown of Carsus. Once mm. we acquire it, your ambitions will be dwarfed. I'll be able to stand against Mistra and wrest her powers from her for the betterment of all. The crown of Katsus. Nonsense. Even if it still existed, you couldn't possibly handle its power. <laughs> Perhaps you could not. But Netheril's power is in my blood. And Mistra? I know her in ways that most mortals can only dream of. Ah. Uh -huh. So it is you. Mistra's discarded lapdog. And now you think your bark is cause to make me tremble? There is no need for me to bark. 
My actions will speak for themselves. In time. Then go. Axe. I'll open a fine vintage in your name. Once word of your failure reaches me. I'll tell her to come here just to give her the satisfaction of ripping you to shreds. We shall see, won't we? Do as I say, and you will be rewarded beyond imagination. Fail, and you give up the prize to the next motivated mercenary to encounter my contract. The choice is yours. But make no mistake, I always get what I want. Nice view. Yes, fire myrmidon, water myrmidon. Oh, he has a lot of myrmidons. He will be back here anyway. Later. Lorakan, I have responded out of respect to your counselor, Baltazar, who advises me that you may prove a loyal ally in the coming fight. I understand you wish to know about the soul cage which bind the knights unto me. Yes, I cannot and will not provide, but the magic itself is necromantic in nature. Designed by my aforementioned counselor, I hope your curiosity is satisfied. Got no audience. What do we have again? Hmm, this table is too much. Yeah, I need to do it before I confront Gortash. Flesh of Baal. What hell since has left? He was kidnapped. of wizard Lorakan has set up a puzzle to solve before getting audience with him. Oh, my already know it.
Ein Mo. Found it already. Elminster. Interesting. No time to talk, I'm afraid. Expecting someone. Charmed, I'm sure. Let's go. Expecting game? A word. Elminster. Oh, hello, my boy. No, don't mind me. I'm uh, just enjoying a lungful of bull air. <laughs> you know, there's a distinctive aroma, though perhaps not one worthy of bottling. I hear you've been browsing in the most esteemed of emporiums, sorcerous sundries. <laughs> uh, indulge my curiosity. What wonders did you discover there? You don't seem all that surprised to see Gale alive, and well. I trusted he would be sensible enough to exercise caution in this matter and to seek the truth. By now, you are aware of the evil we are up against. Cassos as pestilent crown, the very tool with which its eponymous creator unmade an empire and magic itself. Perhaps now you understand what is at stake here, my boy. Though what Mr. asked of you was extreme, it was not without merit nor demand it lightly. What are you saying? Or rather, what are you not saying? Mister knows you defied her, Gail. Well, of course she knows. She's Mistra. She bids you come to her holy shrine in the Stormshore Tabernacle. There, she will grant you an audience at last. You really think Mr. will be willing to hear Gale out? I see remaining optimistic is my duty. Especially when I'm not the one being asked to do the seemingly impossible. Trust in yourself. Trust in the weave. If you are willing, trust in Mistra. There is a conclusion yet to be written in this sorry tale, Gale of Waterdeep. And yours is the quill that will write it. All right, what now? How can I help? Do you regret not using the orb when you had a chance? 
I regret many things in my life. Choosing to be here, intact and unexploded, is not one of them. For now, to have a few more days in your company, no, I wouldn't change a thing. You won't. Why does Elminster have such faith in you? I've often asked myself the same question. I've never really found a satisfactory answer. He clearly sees something in me that I can't. The wisdom and intelligence required to overcome almost insurmountable odds, perhaps? All the stupidity required to attempt it. I take it as a compliment either way. You don't get to be 13 centuries old without becoming a sound judge of character. And cheese, apparently. Let's talk to our companion then. Poor Gale. I hope he knows that a goddess abandoning him needn't be the end. I know from experience. Mistral wants to meet Gale. Impressive. The only thing a god's ever offered me is a cold shoulder. The mother of all magic, they say. Let us hope Mistra brings Gale good fortunes. Milk, your visage speaks of ill tidings. Speak, ally mine. What troubles you? Wizard called Lorakan is looking for you. Is he indeed? Pray tell, what does he seek from Dame Aelin? I know that he's put out contract for your capture. <laughs> Magicians and their machinations. I have had enough for an eternity. I will wring his neck until he's dead. Let's take him down together. Oh, his end will be one more strand in the great braid of our friendship. I'm coming with you. I'd like to get a few licks in myself. My darling, we agreed you'd scout for the nearest Salunite enclave this very night. Let us divide our efforts, all the sooner to be reunited. I won't let you go alone. Who knows what this wizard might have planned? Our closest ally will accompany me, won't you? It will be a swift and fruitful chore. Hie we to this Laroican right away. I am as eager to meet him as he is to ensnare me. Desire. Is it here? Not a spell, it's an action. Oh, it's. Yeah. An item.
mais Okay, don't see. Uh. Okay. Let's go. One day I'll catch a break. Sure. I couldn't help overhearing what Elminster said to Gail. Not every day a god asks for a chat. Hey, maybe I'm invited too. I can be the muscle. Sure, sure. But uh, not now. So all it took to get Mistress' attention was to learn how to reforge an artifact that once destroyed her. It's obvious when you stop to think about it. What do you think she wants to say? Well, I doubt it's an apology for asking me to die on her behalf. Whatever it is, if it's important enough to send Elminster, you would be damn sure she's serious. This is a conversation that's long overdue on both sides. I owe it to her to hear her out. Come what may afterwards. Not yet, but soon. Very well. But it does not serve us to tarry when a summons from the heavens is waiting. Yeah, yeah, we just uh, finished this game. Maybe we'll be back later. First, we should find. Very well. Roland. Oh, it's not Roland. friend <laughs> what am i saying everyone's in need of protection don't be shy this armor can't keep you alive if it's sitting here with me and right what do you have armor fertility add your dexterity modifier to your armor class additionally armor doesn't impose this advantage or stealth ability checks uh-huh let's be nice. See, the price is also good for sure.
city's got. You're louder than the fire. Need something for defense? Or maybe offense? Either way, Steam. I've got what you need. Hmm. Not a bad one. It will future. I almost lost my money. The corpse does not respond. These things have stayed interesting. <laughs> Let alone found his forks gutted. Didn't see it happen more, thank the gods. City's home to some proper sick bastards. Still watch. You seem full of your compliments early. We don't need just men. Seize the day, I say. More now than ever. Careful you don't pull a muscle in your haste. Faces, hands, and eyebrows. How do we protect them? Watch for wind direction. Put on your gloves. And... A light at arm's length. Very good. And what does Uncle Falogir always say? Once it's lit, you commit. Excellent! Now remember, Falogir's fireworks accepts no liability for singed nails, toasted eyelashes, loss of limbs, scalded torsos, or blown off heads. Now, you there. What can I do for you? You feel an all too familiar squirm in the recesses of your mind. Hmm. He has a tadpole. Aha! A fellow friend of Gortash. Praise the Absolute. I have a special sample available just for you, if you wish. Uncle Felagir sent me. Aha! Uh -huh. You must be Arthur's friend. Keep your voice down. Yes, yes. He's just upstairs. But only one flight. If you get to the top, you've gone too far. Browse as irresponsibly as you like. Just don't tell the other customers. Mm. Looking a little rusted. Are we scheduled for maintenance? Uh, not critical, just a bastard if it breaks. Won't blow us up. Another friend of Felagir? All right. Just remember the top floor's off limits. Password or not. <laughs> Looking to buy a little something extra then? What's upstairs? That could not be less of your business. Okay. Smoke powder in its earthier forms. For purists only. <laughs> Don't jostle any of the mer Please. 
pipes are looking a little rusted. Are we scheduled for maintenance? Can't afford a failure on a critical pipe. Uh, not critical, just a bastard if it breaks. Won't blow us up. Where's the steel watch when you need them? Employees only, Pastia. If you're expecting any pack. Pressure steady. Are we at temperature yet? Maintaining temperature. Steady at the mark. I can't shoot it I thought I was really allowed to shoot it. Pipes are looking a little rusted. Are we scheduled okay. for maintenance? Can't afford a failure on a critical pipe. Uh, not critical. Uh, just a hero. if it breaks. Would you be so up. kind to read Fox? Where's an apprentice when you go to These boots have seen everything. Eight, nine, ten. Good. Hey guys, isn't it a small powder? Death greets us all, but not today. <laughs> um, nice. Nice. Take you so long. Hmm, taking poor Gale. Some healing for a wizard in need. Oh, there's a window. Keep 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> And the still watch just then in here. What? Hmm. Blew up his shop. <clears throat> they look kind of stupid. Hmm. 
Has to dominance. Oh my god, that's not what I wanted. teach you
some healing for a wizard in need. Oh, again, you killed Gale. What? The most annoying one. And you miss? Gale just died. Okay. Rage! Get him up. Take your I cannot die. Pay me. Please help me. Long day. Better stop to rest soon. Hmm. Can I agree more? My fellow Avery, you have done well so far, but do allow the production of smoke powder. Being arrested for theft. 
If you have a defense, make it now. Wow. He didn't mean it, right? You've convinced them for now. Theft has been reported, and it seems you're the only suspect. Choose your next step wisely. You surrender any... Mm, Goods delivered to Steel Wedge Foundry, Dragon Turn Toymaker, Grim Rocks. Fortress. Installation report. The Iron Throne was successful. What again? I need some rest actually. I ended all my power. Adjudicators of diabolical contracts and bargains. Holy hells. Interesting. I don't recall sending out an invitation to the Sisters of Justice. You do not call upon the sisters. They come when the hells demand witness. Enough, Mizora. Where is my father? How do I save him? How else we bargain, sisters? Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. <laughs> Another contract? Your contract, Will. Signed in blood, forged in fire, bound in bone, but not unbreakable. That break it already. Will doesn't need to wait six months. No contract is ended without sacrifice. A cost must be paid. Will 
Raven Guard. A choice is before you. Option one. I show you the way to your father. I guarantee him no harm except that from you and your allies. And you pledge your soul to me and the Archdevil Zariel in a pact eternal. Option two. I break your pact and you are freed from your duty. Your father dies by his enemy's hand and Baldur's Gate loses its greatest champion. Name your sacrifice. Bloody Zariel. I won't let her take Will. Silence, Karlak. Mizora, you asshole. Choose. You should have you here or there. What will happen to Will's powers if he break the pact? Addendum F. The Absolute must be avenged for the Soulbinder's detention at Moonrise. The Soulbearer retains his gifts until such time as the Absolute is slain. Break the pack, Will. You deserve your freedom. You damned wretch! Father... Do it. Break the pact. Fiat Ita. Fiat Ita. Anima ad beator. Think you had it in you? <laughs> Seems my boy's all grown up. <laughs> and don't go fussing about your father. You made your choice. You knew the terms. You know what? I think I'll stick around. Not for the greater good, you understand. Just for the entertainment. <laughs> I spent seven years choked by Mazora's leash. And I spent seven years hoping to break free. I never knew freedom could taste so bittersweet. A little faith for him. <clears throat> it's a little late for remorse, don't you think? My father will die. His blood will pay for my freedom. What sort of man would I be if I had no remorse? But I won't miss Mazora's leash squeezing my neck. Tomorrow, I celebrate my gain. But today, I mourn my loss. A moment passes. In the stillness, you find a mote of tranquility. The Raven Guard name now lives solely with me. I will make it count for something. Your father's not dead yet. Well, maybe there is a way to save him. I signed his life away before the Hell's Witnesses. It would be easier to drink the sticks down to the last drop than to alter his fate. I'd be a fool to wish otherwise. What's the next step now? Next step then? We obtain the final two Nether Stones and take back our minds and the city from the brain. Little Will's all grown up. I can't wait to see what trouble he gets into. Who forced Will to make an impossible choice? Impossible? My bargain was uncommonly reasonable. A single soul for the return of Baldur's Gate's most beloved Duke. A real bargain, I should think. 
I never thought the legendary Blade of Frontiers would surrender his father for freedom. Not very valorous, if you ask me. But what does a mean old devil like me know about heroes? I mean, yeah, if Will isn't your warlock, why stick around and give him power? Just because he's not my pet doesn't mean he's not useful. The Absolutists worked a number on me at Moonrise. And you're the best hope I've got at payback. No one crosses the Hell's children without getting scorched. You left Carla alone. Didn't you want her dead? What changed? Oh, you are an inquisitive one. I'd have thought you'd figured by now. Zariel found new use for an old battle axe. The dead three in that bulging brain of theirs are a threat to more than this trifling city, you know. Savor her company. Who's to say when Zariel might change her mind? My mistress can be so capricious. You never told me how the episodes captured you. Correct. I didn't. If you must know, I was scouting the cultists on behalf of Zariel. But those cursed shadows were thick enough to fell even a half-fiend. I woke in that damned pod. It kept my body sealed and my most powerful magic silenced. But a brave, kind, benevolent soul set me free. Gallantry isn't dead, after all. What can you tell me about the Hells? The Nine Hells of Beator. Each its own domain, each with its own archdevil to rule it. I call the first Hell my home, Avernus. My mistress Zariel's realm, a torrid battleground split by the bloody waters of the Styx. How oh, I adore it. The delicious agony of it all. The other eight, well, they are pleasures unto themselves. Perhaps I'll show you myself, if I deem you worthy. If you're going to stay, I need something in return. Why? I'm supplying Will with every scrap of his infernal power. I've paid my dues many times over. I tell you what, when the time comes to squish that big baddie of a brain, I'll lend you a hand. Hmm. Right. Soldier. Who want to speak with me? Oh, Gail. I hope you're here to discuss that contract you just signed. Agreeing to give away our greatest hope of salvation wasn't the wisest of moves. I have no intention of giving him the crown. I'm glad to hear it. But you realize we can't just tell him we changed our minds. He's dead. We already know the potential that crown possesses. We read it, written in Carsus' own hand. I thought you understood that. But it seems I was mistaken. If 
you'd rather put such mm. power in the hands of a devil than in me, your trusted companion. Well, that companionship might prove a rather fleeting one. Yeah. Well. Hmm. Emperor. How did you? Oh, it's you. I must have let my mind wander. Enough for you to wander in. Forgive me. I am drained. Ever since you killed Ketherick and took his netherstone, the Chosen's control of the brain has been brittle. Its rebellion against Orin and Gortash has been fierce even as it executes their final orders. Once those orders are complete, there is a good chance it will break free. You feel the Emperor's fear as if it were your own. An Elder Brain in Slate is one thing. An Elder Brain unleashed will be the end of everything. Beautiful, isn't it? The mighty Prince Orpheus, contained in submissive slumber. Come. You may as well sit a while. Now that you are here, your company isn't unwelcome. What are you doing? Trying to guard us. The brain is restless, but I am distracted, and my lack of focus is endangering us. I'm haunted by memories. They are relentless. I can think of nothing. No one else. Line, is it? The Duke that's dead? The very same. Duke Stelmane. As she was known in Baldur's Gate. You thought you were my first ally. Far from it. I have long sought the allyship of others. It is the only way to succeed. Though my relationship with Berlin was different from my relationship with you. How so? In life, she was my business partner. Back when we ran the Knights of the Shield. A difficult task for a mind flayer. Duke Stelmane trusted me, and the city trusted her. I concede the plot. But Berlin took center stage. It was she who met with the merchants, politicians, and patriarchs. It was she who negotiated deals and signed off on agreements. Her rooms played host to the most important conversations in the city. Together, we brought order to chaos. At its height, everything that happened in that city went through the shield. Through us. I could not have done any of it without her. Just as I cannot do any of this without you. But now, she is gone. I'm sorry for your love. I appreciate your understanding. What I feel is deeper than superficial cures can reach and not entirely unwelcome. Most people think that Mind Flayers are soulless husks who feel nothing. I am glad you are not most people. Thank you for sharing that. You have shown me great empathy. We are closer now. Close enough, I hope, that I can ask you to reconsider your position regarding your physical form. <laughs> no. I know it is no easy choice for you, but we will have a far better time ridding the city of Gortash if you accept just a touch of illithidness. Not to mention the Elder Brain itself. Our chances against it greatly improve the more illithid we both are. 
Another quake. The brain is rebelling again. I need to focus. And so do you. Right, let's get our best team and go kill this archmage. I did not know Duke Ravenguard that well, but I am sure he would not want his son to become slave to Zariel for his sake. I am sure Will knows that, but we would do well to remind him when his days grow dark. I hoped we'd find another way to free him from this pact. Hope. The very hook from which these devils try to hang us. I have no answers. For you or for Will. But if Mizora means to linger with us, I mean to find out if devils do indeed sleep. And just how heavily. You're sure? Yeah. Time and again, Will's plight reinforces my decision not to pursue the path of a warlock. It's one thing to make such a sacrifice in the pursuit of such a pack, but to do so in order to escape one. Truly, it leaves you with nothing. I question the wisdom of that decision. I'll be here. Will gave up his father to have freedom. Hmm. An understandable decision. Sacrifices must be made after all. Especially if the old Duke's fall means his rise. Mm. Lead on. Is that The devil Mizora has made herself quite at home, hasn't she? Do make her feel as unwelcome as you can. It is done. Oh, by the way, we have... Hmm. Best team is gathered. No, no, you must never wanted the easy path. Walking funny isn't the crime. Mm.
on that EG something trap be cautious Nothing useful. Uh, Let's hope for gold. Oh, another traps. How considerate. Blood. No, never mind. <laughs> 